Okay, welcome back. It is part three of the moving average crossover. We are on the euro US dollar one minute chart once again. And we have our 50 moving average pulled up as well as our 200 average down here. We are seeing price drop well below the 50 average here. So hopefully this downward momentum continues. We want to see that 50 start turning, get that price below the 200, get the moving average to cross, and then we're in. On our economic calendar for the day, quite a bit happening. We've already had numbers out of New Zealand, not that they're going to affect the euro US dollar, but we're seeing the interest rate in New Zealand held and their PPI is higher. That's their producer price index. It's a little bit higher than expected. Um, we had pound numbers, Great British pound numbers at 9 a.m. just a couple hours ago. They had PPI and CPI. Again, their PPI coming in a little bit higher than expected, but their CPI was actually lower. Uh, they've had a 0.0%, so no inflation when they thought there was going to be. I think most people at the moment would agree, including the Bank of England, that it's good to see a little bit of a slowdown there with the rate of inflation. But on to the ones that are actually going to affect us. 12 o'clock, just under an hour's time. We've got CPI numbers coming out for the Eurozone. Those are the monthly ones. Whether they're going to have much impact on the price, whether they'll increase volatility and make it jittery up there, not sure at the moment as the numbers that came out 12 o'clock yesterday for the euro those employment numbers didn't have a huge impact so could be the same story with the cpi likely same as yesterday our big numbers if they're going to be a big change in direction will be the 330 ones coming out of the us they've got housing starts building permits month on month there those ones could have an impact on the price again increase in volatility and they make that crossover more likely to happen meaning we've got to keep an eye on them and then a little bit later on, 5.30, you've got the oil stock count standard for a Wednesday. That probably won't really have much impact on us at all. And then 9 o'clock tonight, you've got the Federal Open Market Committee, the minutes of their last meeting a few weeks ago, those will be coming out. Just give some more detailed perspective on what they said at that meeting. So the big ones for us to watch will be the CPI here. Don't think it will have an impact, but we might see a small uptick in volume for it. And then... 3.30 on the US dollar, these housing starts and permits. If there's going to be a change in direction, it is likely to come from those. So we'll definitely be watching that. Let's get back onto the chart. The price been coming down that bit more. There was a big drop off there and we're starting to see that 50 turn. It's good news. We want to get in the crossover. Price did have a bounce for a few minutes, but it's come back down already. We are still seeing these lines get closer together. And price continuing to drop here below the 200 now. Just a few minutes before these Euro CPI numbers are released and price has been hovering between the 50 and the 200 lines, which are getting very close together and still getting tighter. I'm going to pull up the ATR just so we've got that ready. And there it is currently showing us 1.3 pips or 1 pip 3 pipettes. Here comes those Euro CPI numbers as the lines get ever closer. So as we see these CPI numbers come in on the nose, we got core CPI predicted at minus 0.4 and it's come in at minus 0.4 and the general month on month CPI come in at negative 0.1, which is exactly as forecast. As all that's going on, we are seeing the 50 now overlapping with the 200. We're not seeing it poke through just yet, but next period, as we see it roll over, we can now see it sticking through the other side. So if it closes like that, if we see that blue closing the other side for the purple, that's when we'll be entering our trade. So we've got our ATR here at the moment. It's looking at 1.2 pips, which for our three ATR value for stop loss will be 3.6 pips. And there we go. It has just closed past there. ATR reading 1.3. So we're going to go with 3.9. You can see our risk calculated on screen now. And so here we go with our sell trades. And we are in, we got them at the same price to the pipette. So let's go one half trade, going to be 39 points. That's three ATR stop loss and 39 points for three ATR take profit. And then for our other one, we've just got the 39 point stop loss, which could be changed to a trailing stop loss should our take profit trigger. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can't see the take profit, although it is headed in that direction. There it is down there, a little bit wider than some of our other trades, which have just been three pips either side. 
but it does mean that we'll get a bit more room for it to actually take off. Hopefully a retracement wouldn't cut it out. And now we just patiently wait it out. This price does go in our direction quite nicely. Let's zoom back in a little bit. Price floating up and down around our entry price at the moment, not a huge amount of movement in either direction. Price now a little bit on the move, but in the wrong direction. It's heading towards our stop loss, not what we want to see, obviously. And quite a run up there on price, getting very close to our stop loss, very close indeed. And it does trigger there, unfortunately. Both of them triggering for the maximum loss. And it does wipe out a lot of those gains from yesterday. Let's see if the 50 can keep coming up and cross over the 200. Get us into a good buy trend if this is going to stick. Price continuing to spike. So at the moment, it does look like we've got out of our trade at a good time if it's going to keep on going up. There is the trade there. You can see we got in, in an all right position uh, for when the cross happened. It was on point. However, after ranging a little bit, it did just sneak up and then cut us off up there. Had the potential to break out, it did make a lower low, it didn't have the steam to carry it on. It had looked a bit promising with the price staying consistently above the 50 and the 200 average for the last few periods here. Big red coming through. Price now back below the 200 and back below the 50. No re-entry signal, so we have to wait for that buy crossover. And continues its hard path down, digging deep there, trying to find Antarctica. And now just seeming to settle into its new range. Probably going to be a while before we get an entry signal here. But here comes the rebound. Five straight green candles and price back above the 50 at last. Let's have a bit more of this. Really bouncing though now. After that jaunt upwards, it came back down only to go up again. Now coming back down once more. It's very uncertain, floating around the 50. And after carrying on in that range for a little bit, price has decided that the drop is on again. That means the 50 is going to drag further from that 200, pushing us further from our entry, unless this reverses course pretty sharp. And we're seeing these red candles here. The sell-off does continue for the euro, and that 50 is going to widen from the 200 average. Here's the bounce, though. Finally, we are back comfortably above the 50 and getting up towards the 200. Just over 10 minutes before the New York Forex session opens at 3 o'clock. And don't forget, we've got building permits and housing starts from the US at half past three. And just like that, now price settling above the 200 average. Hopefully this 50 can get a move on and catch up with that 200 and get a cross over it. Price just keeping moving up here. It really wants to get up the ladder to the roof, but it cannot last forever. Hopefully it retraces back and then gives us a buying opportunity. These lines cross over just as the retracement ends before a big move starts up that way, in an ideal world. So it's cooled off at the top of this range here. We've still got the lines getting very close together, so this cross could come in the next five minutes or so if price doesn't take a serious U-turn downwards. Let's pull up the ATR to get ourselves ready for that. There's our ATR, currently showing 1.2 pips. I've just zoomed in here and 318, we can see that the blue line has just crossed through the 200. That almost certainly will stick, but we're just going to wait for it to close. This is the first candle where it's poking through. As soon as it closes, that's when we'll enter our trade. Okay, so now we'll be getting in when this closes in three seconds. We're going to treat this as 1.5. It's just dipped down, but it's safer to go from the full period there. So we'll go 1.5, that is a 4.5 stop loss in pips either side. We can calculate our risk. Okay, so you can see our risk on screen now. And here we are, we're going in with two buys. And we did get them in at the identical price to the pip. Already coming back down nicely. Wasn't so sure about the actual entry of where we got in, but obviously it was correct per the system to wait for that to close. It just doesn't look great when you get into it, when it's going to those highs. You want to see it pull back and try and get in on that. But anyway, let's set our stop loss and take profit. So we got 45 and 45 for each. That's three times ATR of the 1.5. And then this one right here, just the stop loss, as we know, to 45. 
So we can see our stop loss just down there, not as far as it might have seen with 45, but even if we zoom out, <laughs> we can just about see that take profit there. Yeah, this is, uh, is going to be a tough one. I'd say it's much more likely seeming that it's going to retrace, especially since, especially since we're halfway there already. Okay, let's zoom back in. And let's keep an eye on this. We'll close the ATR so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. So we've got about 45 seconds until the building permits and house starts month on month both come in. Price lurking just below our entry price at the moment. It is a worry that the volatility from these stats will just knock us out regardless of whether the trend is upward or not. But let's see if these numbers actually bring the volume and volatility. So just a few minutes after the release of those numbers now, we haven't seen the volatility. There was a slight uptick in volume, but nothing like the retail sales release yesterday. That really started jittering up and down and would have knocked us easily out of this trade. But there's the numbers month on month, pretty weak, um, pretty weak numbers, both missing the forecasts expected. But as I say, doesn't seem to have had a huge impact so far. We are on the wrong side here, so we are in the red a little bit. I just pull this back up here, but hopefully we see it turn and see it head towards our take profit, which we can't see on screen, but we know it's up there somewhere. Price getting dangerously close to our stop loss and there they do trigger both of them, obviously on the same point, both triggering. That is unfortunately, very sadly, tragically, another loss for the 5200 crossover. And there is the trade. If we weren't in, in a terrible position, but it was a bit high in the range, after this momentum run up here and so even just going down to this low here was enough to stop us out hopefully it carries on down rather than as it's looking like to go back up and find itself renewed momentum but uh, yeah we'll have to just wait for the next sell trade now and suddenly after a few downward candles price is below the 200 that's turned south and so is the 50 price dropping quite quickly all of a sudden now these last few bars and that blue will start moving quicker towards that purple. And our 50 period average does close in on the 200 as the stock market opens at half past four. Let's pull up the ATR so we can prepare ourselves if this crossover does happen, which is looking unlikely at the minute. ATR currently showing at 1.8 pips. That'll be our widest stop loss of the day. 50 period moving average now just edged past that 200 as soon as this minute closes, that's when we'll be getting in. ATR reading at 2 pips. We'll take it at 2 pips. It just ticked over there. Now it's gone to 1.9. We'll call it 2. So that'll be 3 times ATR value, which will be 6 pips stop loss and 6 pips take profit on one trade. There is our risk calculated, and I'll put that on screen now. Let's get into the trade. And there's our trades there again in at the same price. So let's go stop loss, 60 points, take profit, 60 points. And for this one, as we know by now, 60 points just on the stop loss. So we can see those stop losses there. It has given us quite a bit of room for the trade to move, but also obviously it means that there's more room for it to be able to go for us actually to take profit. This is quite a way off, to be honest. About 15 minutes or so into the trade and not a lot going on. Price just moving around our entry there. It is on the move again now, but not in the direction we want. It's going green. We don't want green. We want red, 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 red. Sell the euro, everybody. It's not looking good right now. It is looking like more green. It's back above the 200. It's continuing to find those highs just now. And that is the stop loss. For the third of the day, that is a hat trick of losses for us on the 5200 on the one minute chart. There's the trade. We sort of got in at a good point in this range and it looked like we might have been heading favorably, but then it turns and it pushes and it pushes. And we had the wide ATR, so we did give it a chance to run, but there you see 60 points in the difference there. And that is what knocks our trade out. Price taking a dip off since we got knocked out of the trade. It's come back up though, so not sure which way it's going to go at the moment. The 50 and the 200 are getting a little bit closer together though still. Three pretty large red candles forming, which have added a lot of downward pressure to price there. 
we're seeing a volume spike as well. Was hoping to get in one more trade for the session, but price dropping off big time here. The 50 is going to chase, and those two lines are definitely going to split further apart. It will be a long time before they cross again, unless there's an immediate reversal. So on that basis, we are going to end it there for the session. And it wasn't the best session, as you saw, three straight losses. So not good for the old bank balance. But I didn't hear no bell, so we will be back for one more session tomorrow to see if we can win back some of that money. At the moment, though, I have to say, not looking good for the 50 and 200 period crossover, or the one minute chart for that matter. So let's round it off in the journal. This is our journal for the day. I wish it wasn't so, but we are looking at the bottom three trades here. These losses all on the 18th today. We didn't get in in a bad position for them. It's just the system seems to be getting us in a little bit too late. Or if it's not getting us in too late, the ATR isn't wide enough. And so these retracements are catching us out. But you can't widen the ATR endlessly. Just have a bottomless stop loss. I'm not willing to put any blame on the fact that we're on the one minute noisy, noisy, noise chart just yet. But maybe by the end of tomorrow's session, I will. There's our running total now. We did start at just over 98,000. And now we're down 2,000 to just over 96. Seven trades so far, six losses and one gain. Yes, that gain did get us a little bit more than any of the individual losses, but those losses are piling up at this stage. Another three tomorrow and we are really far down. I don't think we'll actually be able to get back the losses tomorrow unless we get three winning trades, which does seem unlikely to happen, but we'll give it a try. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the final part tomorrow.